Okay, hello, and welcome back. Before we get started, um, I just want to mention um, the latest video that we've uploaded, the um, MCU uh, Avengers Ranked. This is a, just a little reminder. Go check out that video. So, here we go. This is our, what is this, fifth Doctor Revisited? And we're reviewing yeah. Dalek. This is interesting, because I, I know you said you didn't remember that much about this episode. Right, this is definitely a, a very yeah. well-regarded episode of Doctor Who. So, Kernan, initial thoughts. What do you think? Um, I just a heads up as I watched it, I kind of wrote down just random things that I liked and didn't. So these are kind of like just critiques and just like some some are just little nitpicky stuff. So just a head, heads up. But regarding the episode. Um, I remembered nothing about it, um, like mm-hmm. nothing, and then rewatching it, this is, it was so it was just a really fun episode to watch for a Doctor Who fan. It's got all the Doctor Who the cool like like cliches and tropes, I guess, and it just felt like it was just a fun episode. I thought it was really good. I'm not gonna like some people say this is like one of the best episodes of New Who. I I know like I would say it's. I don't know if it's, like, the best Dalek story, but it's up there. I mean, I'd have to go through them all, but, you know. This is probably wouldn't make my top ten episodes or anything if I ever tried to do something like that. I don't think it's that level good. But I think it was still very good. So let's get into some more specific things now. So so this was the, the introduction of the Daleks to New Who. This was the reintroduction of Doctor Who's most iconic villain and Boy, did they do a good job. I mean, they really just show you, like, how terrible these things are, how dangerous they are. Like, you, like two moments I absolutely love. There's the uh, the moment when the Dalek kills the uh, Simmons guy, the guy who was, like, torturing him, using the plunger thing. And, and that's just perfect because that was, that's like one, that was, like, one of the most laughable aspects of the Daleks in classic Doctor Who. And that, like, little things like that, and there's there's one other moment like that where it's revealed that the Dalek can, like, fly now. And, again, it, like, debunks one of the things that made the Daleks, like, so much less threatening in Classic Who. And, you know, like, those little things make them so much, like, more terrifying. Because there were things like, they can't, they have a plunger for an arm and they can't climb stairs, so why are they so terrifying, you know? But, like, little things like that, they, they... they kind of fix some of those things. And Eccleston, Christopher Eccleston, this is this is one of his best performances as the Doctor. I mean, you can just see, like that first scene when he discovers that it's a Dalek, you can just see the expression on his face change, like when he learns that the Dalek's, like, weapon systems are broken and that he, he can't, you know, fight back. And you can just, like, see how much he hates the Daleks because he's, like, fresh off the Time War still. It's just it's such a great job. So, yeah, I, I understand how the Doctor is just fresh off the time war, like you said. But I really didn't like him in this episode. Really? And my reasoning is... Wow, the, that's were, crazy. Ooh, yeah. Like, I know how... I like how the Doctor can sometimes get dark and will... And, like, he'll remember the time when we're having to his planet and all the good people. He'll get really upset. But in this episode, the Doctor, like, really enjoyed it. Like, he was, like trying to kill the Dalek, and, like, his expression was like, ah! Well, and it was like I said, you, too have, much. you have to remember, the Doctor's always had, uh, you know, hate toward the Daleks, but he just, like like I said, it was just coming off of the Time War, and the Daleks, because of the Daleks, he had to kill his entire own race, you know? So, I think that makes sense. And then, like... Yeah, it, I just, it, yeah, it just doesn't sit well with me. I just, like, uh, the doctor's expression on his no, face. No, I see what you're saying. Like, just, just seeing him, like, torture uh, someone like that. I didn't like it. Another thing I love is, you know, the the mirror image of, you know, the doctor and the Dalek both being the last of their kind. The last, like, the only two survivors that we knew of at the time, of the Time War. You know? They were the, the last two, and then they they have to, like, fight it out the last remaining like fragments of the time war and i mean again that we knew at that time 
and it just it's really yeah. cool how that's like the a one little like cap around the time war right there. Yeah, I will say, um, I, I have a lot of thoughts on each of the characters. So, okay. first, I have like just a whole list of characters and what I think of them. So, um, like I said, I didn't really like the doctor, or he was like fine, whatever. Van Staten, the like I guess he was like a really nice side villain and really nice. Yeah. Just like good he, I something about him just yeah, really, really worked. Good job of, you know, making us like really hate him just as a person. That like good old lady that like who was like with Van Staten and the doctor, yeah. something I just didn't like her. Something about her wasn't good. Adam is a great character even though i do think they made him overly smart in this episode but whatever and now i want to talk about rose i oh she was so good in this something about it just worked so well it, it was legit her like she was planned out like it she was a movie character like how she was with adam she was like i guess empathetic towards the dialogue um oh, she was so great in this episode one of Billy Piper's best, I will say. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can agree with that. Um, anyway, kind of like you were saying, I like the idea of the Dalek mutating, kind of changing to like a more human version, and just it being so confused about what's happening to him, and just like being so disgusted by it, because it, 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 he's a Dalek, and that's like terrible to him to be changing into something other than a Dalek, you know. And, like, at the end, he has to, he kills himself because he just can't stand changing into something. It's a very yeah. interesting idea. I like that. And, um, oh. like, I was talking about how they did such a good job of, you know, making the Daleks feel threatening again. Like, there's there's the there's one scene where, like, the just the one Dalek, like, defeats an entire, like, I don't know what you would call it, like a squadron of, like, soldier guard people. And it shows... Oh. It like it, it shows how ruthless Daleks are, and also just how smart they can be, because you know he shoots the sprinklers, and then just shoots the the water on the ground, and everyone's just like electrocuted, you know, and th- yeah. like things like that. They it's not it doesn't just show like how strong and powerful, but like things that like show like how smart it can be, and just how like determined and ruthless. Like those are the things that make thing like make characters scary, you know. It just did such a perfect job of that. All right. Um. Another thing I want to bring up is so how the doctor was like trying to barricade the Dalek in, um, and he told Rose, he told Rose run, run. which of course is like his first line to her, mm-hmm. and that was good. And I think what should have happened to make that moment just so much better is that is Rose was like, no, please don't lock me in. No, I no, please. And then the doctor was like, and then she was just like, like, oh, okay. Her knowing that the doctor, the doctor would come through. The doctor would make it work. But then he didn't. She didn't make it. Well, yeah. Then he didn't. But whatever. I guess it would have been cool for her. Like, because at this point, we're like six episodes in, right? So, like, the scenario you were saying, which, I mean, it's really not different from what happened she like it i guess what you're trying to say is like he says that and rose is just like okay i got it like i trust you like i know that you can get me out of this and stuff and then for that not to happen and her not to make it through that'd be like she trusted him and then it didn't work but then you know she's fine in the end so um i also like the line you would make a good dalek you would make a good dalek yeah yeah made the doctor like super Super mad. That whole scene, go, like, ah. the Dalek and the the Doctor talking like through the cameras and stuff. That's that's an amazing scene. That's awesome. Like I said, like the 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 mirror image of them both being the last of their kind and just talking out like that, and the Doctor being like so infuriated at like what's happening and just so like like hating the Dalek so much, just screaming like, "Why don't you just die?" Like. It's intense. This is a really good scene. Why don't you just die? Alright, so I want to bring something up that was mentioned like twice in this episode. And it's how like people who are, I guess, like getting fired from this organization or something 
will get their brains wiped. Yeah, that's actually and I like, thought, it's kind of disturbing to think about that. Like, these people are getting their oh, yeah. memories taken away. But I think that's such a cool idea to get their brain wiped. And I wanted to know more about that, like, first guy who just got fired and got his brain wiped. Then Van Staten. So I oh. would have liked... I mean, that was just kind of to, to show how mean Van Staten was and to kind of set up the payoff at the end when that lady says the same thing thing to him yeah so this should have been a season two episode and number 10 rose come back to this place and learn more about brain wiping so there's just so much they could have done with that well in uh the day of the doctor they they they, they do the the brain wiping thing you know i mean not exactly but you know they have yeah. the black archive the, the mind wipe stuff that mm-hmm. yeah like that guy who was had been working there for 10 years so thought it was his first day like, that kind of makes yeah. you feel the same, like, kind of unsettlement that it does with, like, uh, yeah. them getting their minds wiped. Ooh, okay. Something something I didn't like about this episode mm-hmm. was how the Dalek kind of spared Rose. And spared... Well, that, that all I... has to do with the fact that because Rose touched the Dalek and that's what, like, brought it back to life, It's her DNA was kind of, like, getting infused into the Dalek and he started to become more human. And that's why he was acting yeah. like that. And that's why like, he was so confused about what was happening. I know. I, 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 don't, I just they all don't like it. It still just doesn't sit with me. Yeah. I mean, I, I like it. I think they'd maybe go a little over the top with that. Like, the drama, like, at the end. Yeah. Maybe yeah. just a little I, bit. I would kind of agree. But I still, I still like it. I still yeah. think it's great. I would agree like with I that. said, just absolute perfect way to bring back the Daleks and make them feel menacing and just terrifying and so dangerous again. And also a great way to set up the finale, like when you just have the one Dalek isolated, you know, that's the perfect way to show how how dangerous these things are. But then you have the finale where you get a whole, like, thousands of them, you know, and then and by then you know... You know how powerful just one is, so then it's just terrifying. Like they, it's such a smart like setup for that too. Okay, anything else you want to say? So the museum, like a cool uh, an alien museum. Yeah, that's a cool I setting. Think was such a good idea. Super cool, a nice setting. It just worked. Um, and that first scene with the Dalek, um, I think that was so cool because uh, we knew what it was. It was so cool to see that build up and that conversation till doctor yeah. the doctor notices who it is and that was so in the museum there are some nice callbacks there are like the original cybermen that's not the original cyberman design you know yeah. the series 10 finale yeah. that those are like literally like the original yeah. original yeah and then there was like this lean hand that was cool mm-hmm. and in the background you pointed out yeah. that there was something that looked like k2so well, i mean obviously it wasn't one and i noticed that like there was that. something yeah it wasn't but it's kind of did. And also, I noticed that that there was a that something looked like the Omnidroid from The Incredibles. So just all that. That's interesting. Okay, rating out of ten. Do you want me to go first? I think yeah, oh, I'll, I'll go first this time. I gotta think about this because I haven't really thought about this yet. But I'm kind of like I gotta think about what I gave the other episodes. So I gave Today of the Doctor a nine, and then I gave Sleep No More an eight i believe this is yes. hard actually you might have to go first if you if you actually have an idea of what you're doing with it because i need to think for a second all right so right now in first place i have sleep no more with 8.5 so i think i have to get i think i'm gonna give this an 8.8 okay so <sighs> this this is your first place then yeah wow i think you've gone you've gone up with yeah, every single one we've done haven't you yes oh yeah i have yeah okay this is this is a tough decision because I really do like Sleep No More. I'll tell you right now that this is not this is not better than The Day of the Doctor. But I really like Sleep No More. I think I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. But, again, same rating as Sleep No More. So, I, am I going to put it above or below Sleep, Sleep no, no More? More? I think, overall, Dalek is a better episode. So, as much as I really do like Sleep No More, I think I'm going to put this... Just slightly above sleep, no more. By far the toughest decision so far, by the way. Just letting everyone know. That yeah, was by far the toughest decision so far. I think it was too. Yeah. yeah. I, I would All right, there you go. There is our review of Dotlek, Series 1, Episode 6. Okay, so we will see you next time. Okay, so before you leave, we're going to 
Uh, draw the next one. Let's see. Okay, I have one. This is the guy. Alright, I'm gonna look now. Wow, we are... This is a solid streak here. This is our first two-parter. It is series one, once again. It is a series finale. Bad Wolf and the Parting of the Ways. Which is kind of perfect when you think about it. Because we just watched Dalek, which is kind of a perfect lead into this. Because... You know, that introduces the Daleks, and then in Bad Wolf and Party in the Ways, we get to really see, um, you know, them in, you know, great big numbers and stuff. So that's exciting. Alright, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.